Hi everyone, in this video, I am gonna show you how to set product data in local storage using Redux Toolkit in our food delivery app. So currently we can add products. So let's add some products and open the cart. As you can see, products are added to the cart. But when I reload the page, the products are gone. So we want that after reloading the page, the product should be stay in the cart, right? So how we can do that? Well, you can save data in any database. But in this video, I'm gonna use local storage. By the way, if you don't create this project, please go to this channel. I already published this project video part by part since three months ago. Just watch the video, build this project, and then jump right into this part. Or if you already watched those parts, then congratulations. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, I open the BS Code editor, then I go to the cart slash dot js file. So store, then shopping cart, and inside of that, cart slash dot js. First, we will save data when we add item, right? So to set data, we will use local storage dot set item and give the key name let's say items and value we want to set product item right so json dot stringify and value should be state dot cart items dot map and return the item okay and we also want to save total amount and total quantity so local stress dot set item q will be total amount and value state dot total amount i just copy this line and paste it here and we'll change the name and value uh, it should be total quantity okay we have set the data but to see the changes in ui we need to get item from local storage right so let's do that const items is equal to local storage dot get item then the name of the key items is not equal to null if it's true then get the data so json dot purse local storage dot get item items and if it's false then an empty array and same of total amount and total quantity so i just copy and paste it here and i will change the key name so uh, the total amount and at this time not an array it should be zero and then set the value in the initial state let's save it and check So reload the page and add some items to the cart. Now if I reload the page and open the cart again, as you can see, the products are still in the cart. And if I go to the cart page and reload the page and you can see the products are still in here. Now delete some products and reload the page again. You can see the products are not deleted from the cart because we don't set local storage for removing or deleting item right so let's do that i copy these lines of code and paste them here and here now if i check as you can see it works just fine but you might be wondering one problem in our code is code duplication We write the same code multiple times, which is not a good practice. So how we can refactor the code? Well, we will simply write a function and pass the value as an argument. Let's do that. So const set item func, 
then item total amount total quantity we will receive three values as a parameter and then set the data in local storage okay let's use this function so just delete these lines of code then set item func and pass the value Okay, now let's copy this line and paste it here and here and save it and check. And as you can see, it still works just fine. Now let's check it on local storage. So open the dev tools and go to the application tab, then local storage. As you can see, all the items are set. Now clear the local storage and reload the page and add some products as you can see it's working exactly what we expect. 